Greetings, salutations, the guys here and here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope it's all doing fantastic. Uh, today, we're at the Goodwill. We're gonna go to the one here in Anaheim off of Grand and State College. Let's go inside and check it out. And here it is. All the furniture's gone, you guys. There used to be like a bunch of furniture here, but I guess it's all gone. They have some cool artwork. Um, oh, is this the runner? Oh, like a little table runner. This is from Target. Oh, some Costa Luna bedding. Temperature balancing. Ooh, this is nice. One flat sheet, one fitted sheet, two can pillowcases. Oh, this is only 25 bucks. I wonder if my mom would like this, but she usually only likes white sheets. But this feels really nice. Green, not on sale. Let's see what else is on here. Any other cool bedding? Crib fitted sheets, um, threshold. Oh, this print is really pretty, but these are like the kids' stuff. This is a weighted blanket. Let's see what's inside of here. What is this? Creature Collide? Uh, I wonder if Eliza would like that. It's kind of like a transformer -y type of deal, right? Hmm. There's a bunch of Nike shoes in here, too. A hair dryer, Adidas shoes. Those Adidas shoes are kind of cool. The um, okay, I think that's it for inside of here. Okay, I was in the handbag section really quickly. There was like a ton of people in there, so I didn't film, but I uh, didn't see anything. But I'll probably go back again later. It was just kind of hard to navigate through, and there's a bunch of people walking through the same section. No cool rugs today. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this is one of those rocking chairs, isn't it? A 140. That looks nice and comfy, actually. I think this is from Target. Oh, this chair is kind of cool, too. I think it folds. Yeah, I think this is a Target one, too. These chairs are kind of cool. It's like 40 bucks for those. I'm trying to look for some new chairs for the kids. Uh, table because I want to switch out the little like the folding leather ones that I have like I love those chairs but um, I want to preserve them <laughs> and the longer the kids use them like the more wear and tear they're gonna be getting so I just want to keep them nice for a long time and yeah I really love them they're like super chic but we will be on the lookout is this? I think this might be a Lululemon thing, like a, like the other Lululemon brand, but it's peeling. I'm still on the hunt for that game. Catan. If you guys play, let me know. You guys are all invited to come over. <laughs> but like once I find the game. I mean, unless you want to bring your own, because, you know. I'm also looking for the expansion packs, because apparently they have those, but... I don't know, I still haven't found one. I know during the holidays though, they have a ton and I never really thought about it before. So, I mean, Christmas is just around the corner. So hopefully we'll be getting some over here. I did find this vintage twister, which is pretty cool. $4.99, I know these vintage games sometimes go for a good amount. Uh, but yeah. You guys look at, they have like Harry Potter blankets. This one's so cute. I think there's another one up here. This one's only, oh, this one's only eight bucks. Do I want to get this for Zachary? He's like obsessed with Harry Potter. I might. Or do I want to get this one? This one's just a throw. It's not like a real blanket. But he's tiny. He doesn't need like a throw. Which one do I, want? Which one do I like more? <laughs> There's that Dyson tote. Where's the vacuum? <laughs> okay, I'm kind of obsessed with this stone box. I think it's um, Onyx or something. It's $13 though. Is that expensive? Check it out. I also found these vintage uh, Batman playing cards. So cool. Okay, there's like a bunch of cool stuff here. Um, I found the, I think this was some sort of like little bowl thing. It's by Greg F. Moore, H-R-L-M. There's two of them. It's kind of like, I don't know. Does it look like kind of, cottage sheets or something. I don't know, but it's kind of cool. 
and you can just like like sitting down like it looks really fun and there's also this beautiful seashell right here and it's only seven dollars and then it has like a little seashell feet like how cute is that like just like a little catch-all for your jewelry or whatever okay i found it it's a cauliflower shaped bowl i don't know but he actually um sells or his stuff is actually in anthropology so yes i think it's from it's from anthropology it's kind of cool so i think i might get it oh look at this Gorham crystal. These are actually really cute. $6.99. There's two of them. Ugh, I kind of am obsessed with them. And like, especially the little feet. Like, I'm kind of dead. Um, I need a shopping cart. I'm literally gonna drop everything. Uh, yeah, I also looked up the playing cards. They're not like worth a lot, but I feel like for me they're kind of priceless because I love this movie and I really want to see what the cards look like. Um, but let's keep looking around. I'm probably going to grab a shopping cart in a second, but I just didn't want to leave the section. Oh, this is such a pretty piece. I think it might be... It doesn't have any like etching or anything on the bottom uh, look like it might be like a mikasa possibly but let's just see what other goodies we have over here just really quickly shady canyon couples member guest flight net runners up <laughs> it's like an award um oh this is like in the shape of a heart but it's chipped and Oh, they have so many of these decanter things right now. There's a bunch of these here right now. Okay, I think that might be it over here. Um, let's just look at the plates really quick. <gasps> Ceramic mini cup set. How cute. Do I need that? No. Yes? No. Do I need it? <laughs> okay, no. I'm not going to get those. Um, I do want that other stuff though. Oh, this is pretty. Tuscan, Tuscany. Okay, I just found this Blanco crystal vase or glass vase on the other side. It is. Oh, someone just grabbed it. Just kidding. <laughs> it shouldn't have taken so long. Should have grabbed that vase. Like right when I saw it, but like, yeah. But, um, I mean, you went to lose them. That's okay. Now I'm not going to be able to hoard that face. It was really cute. Um, I don't think I see any mugs or anything over here. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the Goodwill. Um, and we also went to Crossroads as well, but I didn't film inside the store, unfortunately, because I was kind of in a hurry, a manic panic, trying to visit as many stores as I could because I forgot it was Sunday and then all the stores were closing earlier and I was just like, ah! So, uh, let's start off with what I got at the Goodwill. I got this for Zachary. Zachary Taylor Thomas. He is obsessed with Harry Potter. And I got him this really fun Harry Potter blanket. And it's just really cute. It has like all like the different houses on it. And this is only $7.99. So we're going to give that to Zach Ravings. I hope he likes it. And that's item number one. Then I also got... Okay, these are so cute. Um, okay, so this is actually by a brand called HRLM, Greg F. Moore, and they are these bowls, and I think they're supposed to be cauliflower tops. Like, isn't that so cool? These were $2.99 each, and these are anthropology. So I just thought these were really fun bowls. At first, I thought they were like cottage cheese looking, or like maybe clouds, um, but now that I, when I looked it up earlier, I was like, oh, cauliflower, like, duh, Adrian. So, $2.99 each. I think they're really cute. You can just use them kind of like as a catch-all for your stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Just put it on a uh, 
table side or a coffee table on top of a stack of books or something it's like a cool kind of like conversation piece something like kind of whimsical and you're like kind of like oh what is that like that's kind of fun <laughs> so i thought that was pretty interesting so i got those guys and then oh, let me just like organize my life over here i have so many bags um then i also did end up getting oh i just got these shorts because i thought they were fun um these are from Zara, so I got these guys. Um, oh, where's the price tag? Oh, the price tag are up. I think shorts are like five nine nine something like that. Like they're all like the same price. So I got these. Thought these were pretty cool. I don't know for some reason I I have so many black shorts that kind of have like the same design. I don't know what it is. They like literally all look the same. Then I found this other clothing piece, and this one's actually opening ceremony. And uh, this was in collaboration with an artist. Um, I forgot the artist's name though. I looked it up online. Does it have its name? Does it? No, it's not on there. Um, but this is it. It's a black hoodie and it says, love is real, you just have to find it on your own terms. And then there's um, this print on the back right there. And yeah, it's just a great, black hoodie this was only nine dollars and 99 cents so i thought this was a cool find so i got that then i also picked up this mark jacobs wallet um this one was only four dollars and 99 cents i found like everything like all the bags i'm showing you guys right now like at the last second like this always happens when they bring out like a cart or something and like everyone kind of just like rushes to it you know and there's like really no no time to film or anything unfortunately but yeah um it's cute right and it has a phone thing clear id uh this guy was Again, four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So I got that, and then I have a. Um, this is an American Leather Co. little shoulder bag in black leather. So fun! I find I feel like I find these bags a lot. Um, this one was six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Sorry, the sticker got but jiggity. I wanted to take it off of the leather before it kind of like left a weird residue, especially because this is like a vegetable tanned leather and like. Sometimes when you get stuff on there, like, it just, like, does not want to come out. Especially, like, that sticky stuff. Um, then, up next, this one is a uh, Liebskind. I think I pronounced that incorrectly. But, um, this is just a great satchel. It's in this nice green color. It has kind of, like, this glittery effect. I don't know. Like, um, Kate Spade does this. Chanel also kind of does it. And it's just, like, laminated into the leather or something. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen a Liebskin bag with this, like, effect, though. It's like a, I think I said this before, it's like a Twilight Vampire <laughs> in leather. But it's a great green antique brass hardware, top handle, cross body strap. This was only $7.99. So this was a deal. And it's a great satchel. This is a great everyday bag, work bag, school bag, even travel bag. It's across the top, cross body strap for easy carrying. It's awesome. And the last item that I got from the Goodwill um, is this guy. And this is a Dooney and Burke. This is a vintage Dooney and Burke. And it's kind of like in, it's almost like a denim -y kind of color, but this is like a woven fabric. And then it has this uh, like oxblood maroon leather with brass hardware. And then it just has like this little made in USA tag right there with like the duck. Um, yeah, Norwalk, Connecticut, fine American leather goods. So this is super cool. This is like super vintage. Um, here's the interior just has one zipper pocket right there and this thing is like literally so brand new um, They did write the price inside which is kind of a bummer, but it's right there in Sharpie uh, I didn't have the original sticker but this was eight bucks right there super cool and then at Crossroads We've got a couple things. This is the first time I've ever gotten a Reese bag. I've had Reese clothing before so I thought I'd try the bag um, this one is in, it's like a nude color with gold hardware. We have a crossbody strap right here. And then just like a magnetic uh, snap across the top. This guy was $22.50. And 
And yeah, it's a great bag. It's nice and clean on the inside. It's just nice and fun. So there's that. Then I also got this belt bag by Syrup and Rose. This one is in brand new condition. It's in this great brown leather. The strap is nice and long. So you can wear it like a crossbody bag as well, which is really nice. And this color just goes with everything. Like I love this shade of brown. It's like a nice medium tone. And then this was $18.50. And then last but not least, I have this Alexander Wang. I think this is called the Prism Crossbody. This is in black leather, and this was $65. It has the rose gold hardware. I love that it has this leather, these leather, or leather, the metal pieces on the corners. Um, just helps protect the leather. Even though the hardware does kind of like get marked up over time, I feel like it adds to the bag. I feel like this is just like a really cool bag that's meant to look lived in. It's like... I think it's really cool. And the crossbody strap is adjustable and removable, so you can kind of just use this as a clutch as well. And I think the hardware is really cool on this. You like squeeze the sides together and then this pops open. And it just looks like that, the zipper inside. And then when you close it, you kind of just push this in. And then once you trigger the hardware, the corners pop out and then it like closes the bag. So there's that. And that actually is going to round out today's video. Uh, hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me. I always have a blast. Taking you guys along, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome to Thrift Squad. Tune in tomorrow, but early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I do post videos every single day. And don't forget to join one of the live sales. There's so much fun. I mean, don't forget if you can't join, you could always watch the, um, the replays. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, adios!